I don't know if this is a new feature or something, but TikTok and gave me three minutes and I'm about to show out. Like, I know I had to speak on this. Now, when I first saw this article, I thought that she was taking like steroids or something. But then I figured out it was weed, even though that doesn't make it any better due to the fact that the Olympics have a anti-doping policy. But I still love the queen though. See, a lot of people saying keep that same energy with the queen Shakari Richardson like they did with Michael Phelps. Well, I do agree with y'all, but not for the same reason that y'all are saying before. Even though I look at stuff from a straight point perspective, and for me just looking at this straight, Michael Phelps, he actually did not test positive for TAC in his system. He got caught with a picture of him smoking a bomb. After that, he was suspended for like three months. Then he continued his journey to become one of the greatest Olympians of all time. I truly feel like the 30-day suspension was a fair penalty due to the fact of the reason why she did that. Especially after finding out that her biological mother passed away from reporters, like, that can't be healthy. She was already being extra scrutinized by the fact that she wear long nails in her hair and her sexual preference. And yes, that is a picture of her. Look nice on D Wade described it best in his tweet right here. But you still gotta understand that rules are rules. Like they do have an anti doping policy, meaning that you can't take any type of substance. <laughs> hey, but my favorite celebrity response is this right here from my boy Mellow Ball. He said, If it ain't crack, let her run track. Straight, straight up. I, I, I agree with that. But I feel like the Olympics, like the association and the Olympics, they handle that situation pretty fairly, even though shit like this pissed me off, or shit like this. Now, I understand that they don't want to incite any type of racial conflict, and that's very understandable, but that seems like they're trying to point out a specific group, and I don't even agree with Black Lives Matter, you know, most of the things because of a deeper conversation, but targeting them, that's, that's just absurd to me. Now back to this. I don't understand how could you ban something that's made for a specific type of hair texture. Now I understand the logos and stuff, but if your hair is long or it's very coarse and you gotta wear a specific texture to to keep it from being damaged, then why not? I feel like this is pretty targeting. Now I'm just saying now, this is my own personal opinion. So please do not bash me on this internet because I am an individual that have my own individually opinion. Okay? That's what makes us different. Like more.